Good morning guys, it's about 4.30 in the morning and today I have a really full on day. Today I'm going hunting this morning for the first time ever. Should be really interesting because I don't know what to expect and neither does the horse I'm riding. And then later in the evening or in after 12 we have a show which will also be interesting because I'll be really tired and I'll probably be riding really badly uh, but I'm riding four horses today one at hunting and then one or three at the show so yeah two of them are in classes the last one though is not just riding her around the ground so she can get used to it and oh my god my voice is like when I woke up this morning it was so croaky and bad but yeah I've had I went to bed at about 9.45 I probably went to sleep 9.45, 10.45, 11.45, 12.45, 1.45, then I woke up for a little bit and then 3.45, 4.45, okay, so I've had like just over 6 hours sleep it's great <laughs> So I'm just grabbing horses that I have to ride. A little bit crazy. <laughs>
fall asleep. How? How am I gonna do Mercedes after this? Oh. Yeah. And I gotta warm up on well, school encore. School the fire breathing pony. It's sun showering so strangely. I don't know what's going on. What is going on?
finished feeding the horses back at the barn about 20 minutes ago and it's like 8 15 it was a big day I woke up at 4am finish up at 8pm I'm wrecked tomorrow I'm not doing a whole lot which is good and then I don't know what's happening Tuesday but I'm leaving on Wednesday so do you like my helmet hair like the extent of my helmet hair from hunting and then riding two horses at a show anyway I rode pretty averagely honestly I rode to win but not like very cleanly or pretty definitely not pretty compared to most of the riders there because yeah they're just like pretty American hunter converted to jumper riders and I'm here like I'm Australian and I like to event and I'm gonna gallop <laughs> So I was like galloping jumps, and, well not galloping, but going quite fast over jumps and turning, trying to turn sharply on green horses, which can kind of worked, kind of didn't. So I rode two at the show, uh, which was, I was supposed to ride three and like just school the other one, but uh, we didn't have time because after I just started my initial one with the really green horse in the two foot class, then it was pretty much straight away into the other one. But yeah, it ended up that I came sixth in the power and speed class on the really green horse, Emerald, who's a five-year-old mare who um, hadn't ever been out of the barn. And I'd only been riding her a week and she's only really just started doing courses. So yeah. That was her. Um, I'm going to try and cover my face so it's more shadowed because ew. And so she was like so good at the show. And sometimes horses are like that, especially when they're green, they're better at shows than at home because they love horses, other horses around them. So yeah, she was really good. And then I won on her the other class, which I can't, the cl classic, the classic which was like a $50 entry fee, which is ridiculous. Anyway, I won that and I'm not sure how much I got from that, but all of the prizes together was like $500. So I don't know, something like 200 and something or whatever. So yeah, uh, and then I rode Mercedes in the 2.6, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I rode her in the 2.6 and she was like super, she was pretty excited out there but she was really nice to ride and so we got first in the power and speed and then we came second unfortunately in the classic and then that wasn't any prize money for that because there wasn't enough entries and then in the 2.9 I wasn't originally going to take her in that but I did. So, in the 2-9, I took her in the classic and we came third. So, yeah, she's, like, not a super great jump off horse just because she dump, bleh, just because she jumps so big. Like, she over jumps them like crazy and she lands so far away from the jump that it's really hard to turn her and she's a pretty strong horse and, like, it's going long and flat like Dexter, so it's hard to get her, like, sitting up. So there was some messiness, especially with the greeny, but she went really well, so I'm happy. And yeah, that's what happened today. My first ever American show, and we did really well. Uh, it was unofficial. I can't believe the prize money that you can get in unofficial. Like, unofficial events in Australia is like zero prize money if you win. And like I got a trophy when I won a two foot class, I mean, two foot to two three class, like a trophy, a trophy and like a nice leather lead rope, just like what? <laughs> it's just like okay, but yeah, it was really good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next vlog or my next video. Bye. So I'm actually back home now, but I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I got from the show because 
you can kind of see a comparison if you've watched some of my eventing vlogs on the prizes you get for placing compared to in America this is kind of like a schooling show it was I don't know the exact name of the show but it was held by MLC Farms in New York State so I got this whiskey glass first off with like MLC Farms on it and then these are the ribbons that I got I love the colors like perfect colors, like green, yellow, red, and blue. That's like every child's like colors. You know, like the co main colors that you mix it together and get all the other colors, you know? I just love the look of them. They're so nice and they're so long. Regular Australian ribbons, American ribbons. So different, like look at the difference. It's crazy. Like these are the best ribbons I've got. That's what they look like and those and then compared to like and that the, compared to those they're so much prettier what the hell and then the most crazy thing is this which I got put it against a white background um, for the 60 70 centimeter class and it's got perfect partner memorial jumper division 2017 Pretty crazy. I don't know if every class got it or just that class because it was the biggest. But yeah, it's like a full-on really nice trophy. Like big. Like I've never got a trophy in my life for horse riding. And I mean, I've done reasonably well in some events. So like, what? <laughs> I win it in like a 70 centimeter schooling show. What? Hello. Hello, pretty. Also, my friend got me this for my birthday. It's a Spooks shirt. I quite like it. And this is my new Equiline jacket, which I also really like. I brought it over to America, but I didn't end, even end up using it. But yeah, how cool is that? I mean, this is nowhere near like bragging because I rode like pretty badly at this show, but I just thought I would show you the sort of things that you get so you can compare it to different countries if I ever go to Europe or anything like that and manage to compete I'd be interested to see what you get over there and all that sort of thing like I just find it interesting to see how different different countries are and I do want to do a comparison video of America to Australia if anyone would be interested in seeing that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week for a different interesting kind of video I think